In particular, innovation is an area that we feel very strongly about. Innovation is what enables all of us to overcome hurdles uh, and challenges. I think what we're seeing is quite a lot of uh, food and beverage innovation, in particular uh, around that infant, child and young adult um, sector, that, that kind of category. Uh, and what we're seeing is companies coming up with more innovative products to be able to um, deliver the right type of nutrition to those growing populations. Simultaneously, what we see is, is a very specific need for healthy aging. So, uh, for example, increased amounts of proteins and vitamins and minerals, which are added to packaged food products, which perhaps weren't added so much in the past. And that's something that that demographic is really in need of. We are looking really at a precision in the food development that helps combine uh, the, the taste that we love. We all eat food because of the pleasure that it gives. But at the same time, we are able to replace some uh, uh, undesired factors and components in food, like, for example, reducing sugar, reducing salt, uh, but still keeping that same uh, flavor we love. I think innovation is absolutely critical on that. So developing products that are really suitable for that, reducing sugar, for example, is one in critical element. Fortifying products with critical nutrients that we know are, are missing in some of the diets is critical. You see protein-rich products that have been launched. And I think that's a very important way for the industry to address the challenge. We have invested a lot in uh, R&D over the last um, uh, you know, several years uh, here in Asia. I want to call out a couple of examples where uh, sort of innovation meets sustainability and meets nutrition. Uh, one is uh, our R&D uh, lab in Shanghai, uh, recently uh, doubled up in, uh, in space there. And we see their uh, uh, investments around uh, artificial intelligence, uh, things like uh, 3D printing or even the use of robotics. I think one of the trends that we see when it comes to innovative food is everything linked to precision fermentation. You know, there's some new trends, you know, that, you know, we see kind of creating proteins in a, in a very different way. And that is for sure a big, big trend that we see. Sustainability and health and innovation are uh, very connected in the sense that we are all looking for food that is uh, produced closer to our homes. So there is actually uh, lesser um, uh, greenhouse gas emissions, less CO2 coming into the production. But also we are looking at methods of uh, transforming the food that are not as uh, impactful in destroying actually the, uh, the, the nourishment that is in the food itself. Clearly one of the greatest achievements for the, for the packaged food and beverage industry is being able to provide incredibly safe, nutritious and affordable food products to as billions of people in Asia. Um, I think the role that FIA has played in this is making sure that we have the right type of policies and regulatory frameworks to enable the companies to sell these incredibly fantastic products to different demographics uh, and across different categories.